Hey up campers, how are y'all doing? So in today's episode, I'll be replacing a Perspex window with a piece of sheet metal. So the guy who had the vehicle before me took out the back windows. I'm not quite sure why. He said he was going to block them up. So maybe he was going to put in sheet metal, but just never got around to it. But anyway, in the interim, he put Perspex. So I took out one and me and Lenny, this is a previous video, replaced the, because I had the glass windows, the glass windows, what opposed to, well, look at the Perspex windows, Carol. <laughs> anyway, um, yes, I replaced the wind. I got the windows um, with a van and they were rattling about in back for ages. So I put one back in, that was a twat of a job. Didn't really want to go through that process again. So I decided to get a piece of sheet metal for the other side. Um, so I did. So 20 quid, 2 mil sheet metal. So a bit thicker than the rest of the van, actually. So that's what today's video is about. Removing the purse bikes, rubbing it down, cutting the metal. Da, 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 da. So I, I'm sorry I couldn't get a better angle. It's basically the back of me. Might find preferable to the front of me, I don't know. There's just no way to put my camera, so I had to put it sort of on the floor anyway. So the process was Sikaflex, then um, drilling some holes to put in the self tapping screws. So that's what's happening because you wouldn't know by watching the video. So I'm telling you now, that's what's happening. <laughs> I haven't completed the process, I've gone through, I mean, it's in and everything. I had to put like fiberglass around it. I was advised to put fiberglass around it, so because the metals are two different thicknesses, the van and the sheet metal. So with expansion, quicker expansion of the well, I don't know the thinner metal. You know, with heat on the van or whatever, then there was a chance that the filler that I'll be putting around would crack. So putting fiberglass apparently would stop that process. So anyway, that's what I've done. But I've still got to put the filler on and paint it and everything so i suppose that'll be in another video i bet you can't wait <laughs> uh yes anyway i'll just keep posting as and when it's bloody hard work is this i would think carefully about converting a, a van if you're thinking about it it's, it's yeah it's hard work and costly anyway anything else i don't think so so yeah thank you for watching and um, give us a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video and subscribe and share and out like that. And uh, and I'll just see you next time, I think. I hope. Bye for now. Okay, so today's job. Replacing this. Boing. With sheet metal. It's been a long time coming. Um... Yeah, that's what's happening today. So, <laughs> too much booby on display. <laughs> yeah, the other side was definitely easier to get off, but there's always one, isn't there? Always one. Probably it's better <laughs> filming from that side because you can just see my head moving <laughs> on this side, which is not that interesting, really. Come hither, young man. I've got you. <coughs> is it recording? Huh? Is it recording? It's, it's... <laughs> Stay to me, bloody hell. Stop this fucking door now. So I've rust loomed it and now I've uh, red oxided it. So wait for that to dry and then uh, 
Dad is going to cut the sheet metal just round off the corners because it's, it's it's an oblong piece, but obviously it's got um, obviously it's got corners, so we need to round it off and then stick it on. <laughs> Where you've got the marks, yeah. am I cutting to the outside of the mark, the middle of the mark, or the inside of the mark? I don't know, whatever. Okay. Take your pick. Right. Outside, I'll do, do outside. outside, as I say, you can take stuff off, but you can. Pull it back off. Of truth now. So if it's um, this is going on outside. That's the outside, yeah. Yeah. What, why did you pick it up like that? <laughs> Cack-handed bugger. <laughs> so we'll see. Are you sure that's the outside? Yeah. Because that's the side you marked, and you said you wanted it on the inside because it's easy. All right. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm wrong. Don't happen often, but I think I am on this case. <laughs> Right, obviously it needs to go more right. Up a bit, <laughs> down a bit. Wait, well, need to go further up, love. Up? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's more. Higher? Higher or lower than a jack? <laughs> higher! 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 Uh, left side slightly higher, please. Yeah, yeah, that's roughly about right. Um, does that feel like it's sitting in the space okay? It feels alright to me, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Mark that as, well just mark that as bottom. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Time a kangaroo down sport. <laughs> So the idea is to put the sticker flex round here. I can't bloody see. Fuck all. Right, round here. So Daz is putting some Gorilla Tape up there just to hold it in place. We are going to use some self-tapping screws as well until it goes off. And then once it's gone off, take the screws out. Get some filler around the edges. Paint it. And you'll never know there's been a window there. That's the idea anyway. We'll see. <laughs> Put the drills, drill it before. Then. <laughs> Funny how you've come mute, isn't it? I need to turn the video on more often. <laughs> Cheek of it. <laughs> round, round the outside, round the outside. Just. The inside of the outside. Inside the outside. I hope this works. It might be. Ugh. That's alright. I can't, this ain't working. It's got dried up in the sun. Oh, for fucking cream, no loot. No, like. <laughs> no wavy lines. <laughs> Stop being wavy. Don't be straight.
20 centimetres apart, <laughs> all the way around. Job. Is it in places? So, is it worth smoothing that off around there? I'd leave it and then just cut it off afterwards. Look <clears throat> uh, how messy it is. Yeah, yeah. You've got a nice bead around the inside as well. When you look from the inside. Oh, is there? Nice Let's have a look in. Let's go inside then. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> That'll just come off when you unscrew it. Mm, okay. Yeah. You don't even need to clean that up because obviously it's getting covered anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Cool. Okay, so today's job is getting some fiberglass filler on here because I was advised that if you just put filler around, it'll crack. So sort of put um, fiberglass around here and then fill it on top. Uh, I don't know how it's all going to work. Um, Daz has ground off the screws, screw heads. Um, so I've got a flat surface. Although we left the screws on the other side. Um, it's behind, behind a piece of ply now anyway, so you didn't need to take them off. So I'm going to try that, see what happens. <laughs> I, don't, I can't set the camera up though, so I'll just have to show you after I've done a bit. Oh, that's broke off. Oh, it didn't. Weird, isn't it? Uh -uh. Oh, I don't like. Don't like playing with sticky things. I don't like it. Can you see? Can you see? I meant where. <gasps> oh no, that's too much. I've got eight minutes, about eight minutes before it goes off. <laughs> oh, no pressure! <sighs> so, so what I've done so far. Didn't really know what I was doing. Really, <laughs> Carol? So not like you. Um, so yeah, I get Steve, friend who's got on a record, who's done a lot of this sort of business, said that I need to bridge this gap over here, you see, so, because I was wiping it off here, but I don't need to be wiping it off there, it needs to be coming across there. It's not rockets, are you? Shut the f up, you! <laughs> Smart ass. <laughs> um, so yes. I'm going to go around again. Um, horrible stuff to work with, though. It's sticky and I just, it's not neat. I don't like it. It's not like when you use proper sort of filler that you can make a bit neat. Anyway, that's what it's like. Have the coat done. I think Sam's starting to.
build it up. I mean, it doesn't look pretty. It isn't going to look pretty. You can't get it to look pretty. But it doesn't need to because it's going to be covered with filler, which will hopefully look pretty. So, yeah, I'm going to need more of that um, to build that up, I guess. And uh, I'll wait for it to go off. Uh, I don't know if I need to sand it down a little bit before I put the other filler on. I'm not sure. But uh, it's getting there. It's not fun to use though. I don't like my sticky malarkey. I just don't like it. So I put on um, another coat. I think it's had three coats. It's. I'm not doing any more. <laughs> That's the bottom line. I've rubbed some of it down because there are sort of little sharp bits. Um, you'll never get it completely flat because it's fiberglass. But um, if I can rub out these these little bits um, and get a reasonably flat surface and then fill it. So obviously this is not the finished product. You'll see that at a later date. <laughs> um so, being able to film myself doing it was just too bloody hard, really. Which is why I didn't do it. Um, so, yes, this is what it looks like. This will be the, honestly, this will be the strongest part of the van. <laughs> With two millimetre sheet metal and fiberglass. Hopefully it'll look all right. I mean, obviously this will, it's all going to be painted anyway, so it uh, doesn't matter that it looks like that. But yeah. Um, I think it'll be okay. It'll do anyway. It'll bloody do.